It's not, but it's a, it probably is, a is now. Because we have sneaker ink water that you should have grabbed. Yeah, well, I'm hoity It's only a problem if you say Yeah, it's only a problem if you say it out loud. Not well, sponsored. I'm not worried about that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everything in between, welcome to the Kickback, sponsored by, presented by Sneaker Inc. I'm your host, Steezus, to my right, my boy Dano. Far in over there, we have Mr. John Colombo. Hey, hey. And we are your three main guests. Guest? Host. Hosts. This is how we kick it off right now. <laughs> we just have three guests at all This time. is our first episode this on Dash first, Radio. Yes. So we're, we're a little thrown. Yeah. We're just trying to, we're trying to get it all situated. Now, we are your three main hosts. This is episode seven of The Kickback, but this is also our very first episode on Dash Radio. Yeah. yeah. And every episode, we have one open slot for people to come through, kick back with us, talk shit, talk about sneakers, whatever it may be. And today, we have producer and one half of Electric Bodega, Mr. Mike Cash. Yeah. Hey. How you doing, brother? Ooh. What up? What up, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> Sound effects on fleek today. <laughs> So, also, I just want to mention, if you are listening to us on Dash Radio, don't forget to check out SneakerInc.com, where you can see the visual counterparts of this episode. Uh, and every week, we will be doing that as well. So, to get right into it, I first want to bring up my man Dano. Is uh, He's a little under the weather today. Okay, we're going to talk about I it. I told yeah, y'all I was going to give you shit. Yeah, I told you I was going to give you shit about yeah. it. I want you to think you were scot free. I'm, ha- I'm what, holding in what there. What happened, I'm brother? Good. Nothing you, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, I wish I had a good story. <laughs> wish I had a good story. You just went a little too hard. Yeah, a little what too was? hard. Not enough dinner. Let's just say that. Not enough dinner. Cause <laughs> why? Because it all came back up today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hey, I still haven't eaten. I still haven't eaten. Let's get through this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not my fault, player. I, I thought you were a heavyweight. You know how to handle your. Liquor. I can. I can handle it. <laughs> I, I can. I can handle it. Apparently. Yeah. Apparently not. <clears throat> but it's all good, you know. Yeah. It's a new day. It is. New Tomorrow's year. a new day. Yeah, I'm looking, looking forward to it. All days are new days. Mm-hmm. Speaking of days, speaking oh. of days, <laughs> boom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, oh, producer Jack. By the way, you can't see him, but he is in the little cubby hole back there. <laughs> producer Jack, he is here to handle all of our sound effects, keep us on track and jack check anything that we have questions about. Exactly. You like how I did that? Jack, jack check. check. Jack fact check. check, jack check. <laughs> it's like fact check, but it's jack check. Jack check, you know, I gotta give my boy some shine. No, but um, to get right into it though, today we saw Jason Day, who is an Australian golfer and recently signed um, a deal with Nike. He was at the first day of the British Open in a pair of Jordan 1 cleats. Um, the, the golf community didn't really respond too well to that. Uh, a lot of tweets on Twitter were basically just kind of heckling the guy, and he really uh, he really became <laughs> quite the spectacle <laughs> on Twitter today. Um, That's some bullshit. And yeah, it's fuck these dudes. D- <laughs> on some real he's shit. Yeah. Like, he's fucking on a, in an ill pair. That shit looks sick. Dude, he looks fly as hell. In an ill pair of Jordan 1s, um, all white with a black check and black wings logo. Mm-hmm. I would have liked to have seen him in the pair that actually released yeah, like, the Chicago a month ago. One. The Chicago yeah. one. When I, when I saw the headline, I was like, ooh, and then I clicked it and it was like, all white. I'm right. Like, but I think this is also kind of dope. Like, it is very yin-yang. Um, you Dude, know, imagine ask. what the reaction would have been if you wore the but Chicago. That's one. what I'm saying. They like they would have out. freaked shit. Now I don't know if this was because, you know, this is more exclusive. Like these cleats aren't being produced. I don't know if they're going to be produced or whatever. But what do you think? Like, what do you think the response to him wearing that was it warranted? Because I feel like in the sneaker community, we get juiced on shit like this. When we see mm-hmm. like when I first saw the headlines, I was like, oh damn, this is fucking dope. Like seeing somebody rocking Jays on the golf course. And then as I read more into it. I was like, wow, like these these motherfuckers really aren't fucking with sneaker shit like that. Like, does that is that saying something about the sneaker community? Like us thinking it's this big global thing and it's super massive, but then from the outside looking in, these people are thinking we're fucking clowns. Like, nobody wanted this dude. For me, those. it's refreshing. It's kind of nice to be reminded that we are still somewhat of a subculture. Right, but on it's the, not true, everyone. True. Mm-hmm. The scale at which he got shit, like it wasn't just a few accounts. Like people were really going in on. No, that one guy said he should be disqualified. Right. It's ridiculous. There was another one. Like he's like, not wearing shoes that are fucking up the course. Right. You know and what I mean? but does it now? This there's a slight correlation with it being you know Jordan brand and, and whatever. 
this almost reminds me of when MJ first wore, you know, the airships mm -hmm. and people lost their shit. They were like, you got to find him. He's doing this. He's outside of dress code. Is that kind of like in a similar ballpark? Yeah, funny that they're so similar shoes. Right. Too. He's like breaking down doors, too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like yeah, you, sure. you never you you see like very little disruption on the golf course. You That's know, right, too. As, as other golfers, younger golf golfers start to like come up and emerge. You might start to see them more and more and more. In yeah. ten years or so, it just might be like that, you look the at the NFL. Right. Everyone's wearing you know Jordans, all Custom sorts cleats, of yeah. yeah. Like Shit that. changes, yeah. man. Things progress. I mean, you know, the short shorts was the thing back in the day. You know right. what I'm saying? It's yeah, like yeah. you know things change. It's like. Progress, move forward. It's it's, It'd be it's cool not a if big golf deal. Went back into like a crazy fashion thing. It's like yeah. back in the day with the crazy socks. Yeah, and like, like the little weird shorts. The fucking the it's way. Like, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it went back to like everyone's looking crazy flying. Yeah, golf course, that's cool. like the way Agassi came in on the fucking yeah. tennis and, and mm -hmm. just like fucking like I'm in some flashy shit with the spandex under the jean shorts. Mm -hmm. Like obviously this isn't super flashy, but sometimes you'll see dudes caddies being in like a full pink get up or whatever with some ill argyle socks like. Is this something that you I know, mean? Maybe people that don't give a fuck about you it's know, like a different generation they, maybe they're like the fly. maybe people yeah. outside of the sneaker community don't give a fuck about sneakers and just the same way. There's probably a lot majority of the sneaker community could give a flying fuck about the golf community. Right, straight so, up. And obviously they maybe don't give you a accept fuck about us. <laughs> Dan over here watching some golf here. <laughs> That's nothing better on a Sunday than watching some golf. <laughs> Little breeze coming through the house. Yeah. Real quiet. Ball. They they applaud every once in a while. Like you sit up on the couch and it's like, oh yeah. I was gonna say, how I do you stay I did do that. Away? I did. I did sit up on the couch. <laughs> how do you stay awake? No. You don't. That's the whole point. Right. <laughs> it's nap time. No, but <laughs> is if it, it, it almost it was kind of like you said, like a wake up call. To, it it's refreshing to know that like this subculture is still somewhat small and. You know, we fucking, we're near and dear to this. Like, we, you know, we cherish it. But it almost shows that, like, it hasn't really gotten as mainstream as we really think. Because this, this is not even a crazy color. I could see if he wore some, like, it's some not, off the It's wall. literally the simplest thing ever. Super, Super simple. And it's, I mean, they're high tops, which you don't see, you know, often yeah. on the golf course. So I, I understand that. But it's just like, dude, I don't think he deserves some of the backlash. Jack, Jack, you got some of those tweets that uh, people were putting Maybe out? I retract my previous statement. Maybe they, Obviously, they do give a fuck. They yeah. totally do. <laughs> yeah. And it's not like they're in Scotland. Isn't that, that's where it was invented, right, golf? Uh, it's, but I know, like, Shit, the, I they're more extreme about the heritage in Britain. Clearly. I guess they're keeping like, traditions oh, is, is a thing, too. Yeah. But What's that? But there's got to keep in tradition. Yeah, but there's exactly. got to be somebody that comes in and is just like, you know what, fuck this. I'm not about Shake that. Shake it like, up a little bit. All right, Anthony O'Donnell 7 tweeted, don't care how much he's getting paid, Jason Day should not be dressed for the Open like a 15-year-old Old Spice Boy. 15-year-old Spice Boy. Oh, 15-year-old Spice Boy. What's a Spice Boy? Uh, that, yeah. uh, that's Real some relevant. British shit? Real relevant. No, Spice Girls. Like Spice Girls? Yeah, I think. Really? What, what else is he doing? That doesn't make any sense. I that thought must they were be... talking about like some Old Spice shit. Like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I that's said that in the news. That's why you're stuck on the old. You're like, Old Spice. I'm going to... Jack, after this, look up Spice Boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ali, <laughs> Ali Sarant tweeted, what, what the blooming heck does Jason Day have on his pegs? That's amazing. That I love that. A fan. <laughs> <laughs> on his pegs. Where is this guy from? Fuck you, Ali. Is that Scott Disick? No. Let the Lord, the, let the, the Lord be with you, whatever his name is. <laughs> uh, Scott underscore Disico. Tweeted, Jason Day should be DQ'd for those absolutely awful shoes. Hashtag the open. Absolutely awful. Like, that's that's crazy that they don't even know what a Jordan 1 is. Yeah, absolutely awful. Like, I can't think of a more wrong description. Right. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely Like, that was awful. some G shit that he did. I don't know. I just, it, it was a little heartbreaking to see. You know, all the, like there there weren't very many like positive tweets about what this guy was doing. Now, granted, Twitter is the fucking like people can say whatever they want and have no you know repercussions because they're behind a phone screen or a computer screen right. and can just fucking fly off at the handle. But I just think that it was very. Um, I'd love to like it, to hear some audio from the actual course and like hearing oh, people like people heckle them. They're super quiet on the golf course. I know. I wonder if the announcers said something though. That'd be like, hilarious. The announcers had to have brought up like, well, I don't know what this. Well, guy this is, is like the 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 Lonzo Ball 
Fran Relations thing. It's shout out to Fran Relations, man. It's for Sandal Boys. Oh, yeah, most uh, definitely. With Ma- the um, accepting of the award or whatever. In the yeah, fucking, yeah, he accepted yeah, an award in some Sandal Boys. And Michael Rappaport was ripping him on... What show is this? Is it like a sports center thing? What is that? Um, Undisputed. Undisputed. All right. Awesome. Michael Rappaport is ripping Lonzo Ball for accepting an award wearing... He called it, <laughs> quote, unquote, flip-flops. But it slides, but whatever. He can call it flip-flops if he wants to. Like it. Um, He's an OG, though. They were flip-flops back in his day. Yeah, they were flip-flops back in his day. Is right. But there is a difference. But, you know, he there goes is. in on how he should have been wearing sneakers, uh-huh. which is kind of cool because it's like the polar opposite of oh, this what, other conversation, with, yeah, right. which is like, he shouldn't be wearing sneakers. Like, he, should he should be, be wearing sneakers. sneakers. <laughs> at, least, at least put the, the baller brand on the slides. You would have thought. No, I mean, but that's the thing. Those are not like, his. The, yeah, the yeah. baller brand made slides, made slides which I yeah. love that he's yeah. not yeah. wearing his own slides. He's wearing Fran that's slides. He's wearing that's some shit that he's been doing boys. a lot lately, too. Like, yeah. not even just with this, but not repping his own brand. The first night that he wore the fucking Kobe ADs, fucking everybody lost their shit. And then and for the rest of that week, it was, yeah. you switch it up every time. Right. I love, this is this is the illest shit to me too, though, just because, you know, we know Frandalation and and he's got his brand popping right this, now, yeah, and, this and just seeing shit like this, like you can't pay for like press shit like this. It's right. kind of crazy that yeah, like, supernatural, super. <laughs> play the um, play the audio for what Michael had to say. And that a kid came out there who's actually playing the bachelorette with these sneaker companies <laughs> came out to collect his summer league MVP wearing flip flop. Magic should have been like, no. When you come out to accept an MVP, you put some sneakers on. Number one. <laughs> number two. How do you get an MVP when you sat out games, two games during this eight game summer this was league season? before the championship game, and he was not going to play in the championship game. And you come out wearing flip flops. No, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't an AAU tournament. Put some sneakers on your are the flip-flops. He's marketing, he's playing the bachelor with these sneakers. <laughs> He says, put some sneakers on. Be a professional. <laughs> I love it. Dude, that's dope, though. Like, that's that's some G shit right there. Like, you, you need to be professional. Accept this war in some fucking sneakers, sneakers. Not these goddamn flip-flops, as he called it. <laughs> no, nah, but that's a fucking flex for Fran Elations Hell and, and yeah. Santa Boys. Like, for Shout somebody like Fran, that man. who's been so controversial, not just him, but his father, fucking LeVar, with the whole sneaker shit that's been popping off for the last six months of fucking... Triple B, big baller brand, billion dollar shit. And then the motherfucker's not even wearing his own shoes. Like, he did wear his own shoes in the beginning, and now he's just fucking straight The lowest off. numbers like, out of any of his games. Yeah. there was. I did see something, I don't know if it was on Twitter or Instagram or what, but they showed, like, some clips of him playing in the baller brand shoes, and he was, like, fucking rolling I like that he's wearing sandal boys. And my, I, I wonder even, you know, just in regards to footwear, it's like, okay, so he's not signed to anybody, right? So he did his own independent deal. Which means he can do shit like wear other brands. Right. Because if he was, if he did a Nike deal, he he definitely ain't stepping out in some right. other shit. Yeah. And you know, so kind of like that opens him up to be able to do that. What do you think makes him have that decision to be like, I'm gonna rock some Sandal Boys versus rocking my own shit that I'm trying to promote and push right now? Mm-hmm. Do you think it is purely based on the fact that the Sandal Boys shit is flyer, or do you think or he's his making a statement? Or? I don't know. I think. Well, see, what I think it is because he's such a young, like, he's a young dude. He knows what's going on in the culture Mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. I feel like him being an independent, you know, um, athlete, so to speak, in the footwear world, he wants to rock the shit that he thinks is dope. And Sandal Boys is popping right now. Mm -hmm. Like, they just did the bait collab. I mean, excuse me. They did the BAPE collab. BBC. Uh, BBC. Excuse me. You're right. BBC. I apologize. Uh, I think he's just hip to, to the game, what's going on right now. And he wanted to, like, rep some shit that he was... You, know, you don't think it was I like don't. a subtle like fuck you to his dad or something? I don't think so, man. Like, I, I don't know. I, mean, I, I, I like to wrong, think that. I think he. Know, like, but I think you're saying it right. Like he's young and he's like he's super. Uh, he's got his finger on the pulse and that right. nature. And he's got all these cameras around him every fucking day now. Not like mm-hmm. he hasn't for a couple months, but he's really just like fucking parade. Yep. You know I mean? like, yeah. I got all yep. this fun shit. Check me out. Yeah, and it's like big baller brand shit. Obviously, isn't even in production yet. Like. He probably blew out the sample shit that he already has. <laughs> Seems as busted. He can't wear his own shit. I'm yeah. assuming. I would bet you. Like, I think that's the answer. Straight up. Like, I think that he knows that what the samples that he had were not to be played in, were not to be worn, really. It was just some promotion shit to make sure everything was good. Because if you look at their website, the the shit doesn't even, like, start shipping until the day, be- like, day before Thanksgiving or something like that. Like, there's, there no shoes have been produced. So they've just been taking people's money 
and waiting probably to see the numbers that they have so they can put that money into production to mm -hmm. make just the right amount of shoes that they need. So I'm assuming it was a flex on like, I'm just gonna you know rep the shit I like anyway, and also partially like my shit ain't even ready yet. So what else am I gonna wear? That's my my guess if I had to make one. Mm -hmm. But you're probably not far off. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. But shout out to Fran and and Santa yeah, Boys on some real shit. Like to think like. <laughs> I used to watch Fran, back when I was in Kansas City, I used to watch Fran Relations on YouTube and, and on some G shit, like Fran and Wale were like the, the main two reasons I started wearing phones. Cause Fran's got these little baby feet and they always look like super dope. <laughs> and he would do these reviews on YouTube before anybody was really fucking with like unboxings and reviews and shit on YouTube. So I would always watch that shit and that would kind of sway my like buying decisions on certain shoes. So to see what he's doing with some fucking slides. It's some ill shit, man. Like, yeah. I never would have expected like people to really be on slides the way no, they are it's, now. It's a, it's a dope play. It's sneaker adjacent. It's mm -hmm. still footwear. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it's a lane he knows. It's a lane he's respected in. Yeah. It's and dope. you're not going up against the fucking big dogs. Like, no. yeah, people exactly. are going to make slides or whatever, but that's not their main focus. So yeah, you can come in right. and like get all these ill collaborations and seat it out to the right people. And, like, you know, it's airport swag. Like, yeah. Ill nah, I was like, talking with him and he was just like, <laughs> before they put out any of the first photos or whatever, like I think like the day or two two days before I met with him and he was he showed me the uh the first pair. Mm -hmm. I got to get a get a look at the the BBC joints. Yeah, yeah. They're sick. Fuck They're so yeah. dope. Yeah. And he was just like kinda in awe of it himself in a way. Like he's super humble and like there's humility in it. Right. Which is respectable. It's the complete opposite of right. big baller yeah, shit. Exactly. But uh you know, he was like, man, I used to like camp out and wait in line for this say, shit. Yeah, it's fucking, so ill. Like, now I'm doing a collab. Like, like yep. you know I mean? it's the ill, Ill's like, that? circle back oh, around yeah. of like the fucking diamonds and dollar signs, like actual kicks back then. And even um, my homie Jimmy Gurecki, shout out to Jimmy, he used yeah. to skate for um, the ice cream skate team. Like, yeah. he was talking about like how it just kind of brought him back to certain things. And you started to see like a lot of the old dudes that were down with Pharrell back in the day reposting shit with them wearing, you know the whole fucking BBC kit and ice cream and all that. Like, so it's ill to not only be like, be from that era and see the resurgence of it in that form, but also to like reintroduce kids now that weren't around for that era, that weren't around for the dollars and diamond signs, the fucking, the ones with the ill pagers and the chicken wings and all that oh, shit, yeah. you know? Like they don't yeah. know about that shit. The pagers was the but, shit. Like, the pagers was yeah. ill. The rolled up money. Hell and yeah. And, and the packaging, like all that shit. So it's dope to, you know, see somebody of the culture like, making power moves, but also like bringing some shit back for the OG heads to, uh, to yeah, get on board And if with. they're like older and don't like to wear skate shoes anymore, they can just wear these Straight slides. Straight up, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like everybody, you know, you got you got to have a pair of slides in the fucking collection just mm -hmm. for, you know, those ill days when you're just grocery getters, you know. Just yeah. right Shout out to Android Home. <laughs> Shout out to Android Home. <laughs> get your marble slides. <laughs> get them marble slides. Cause they're sick. Oh man, what else happened this week? Uh, fucking uh, Cause tweeted out a pair of the black cause Jordan 4s. What? Next I'm like excited to the gray about pair. it, but I'm not. Yeah, those, John, I'll take a pair of those, by the way. Straight up. I, I bet you will. The black pair. Because mm -hmm. before that, we had only seen him on that, um, like, VP of marketing or some shit like that. Like, he was the only person that had a pair that had actually been seen in the public. And for him to, you know, send out a cryptic tweet, like, or excuse me, uh, Instagram post like that with posted up right next to the gray pair at the time when a lot of people were talking about a gray pair possibly, I mean, excuse me, a black pair possibly dropping in 2018. I think that was very uh, strategic in the way that, you know, well, I've seen he fake did that. blacks. Yeah. yeah. Well, like what, are you, what are you saying? Fake blacks? <laughs> Fake black pair though. <laughs> they look like shit. Yeah, These yeah, look yeah. amazing. <laughs> hey man, this I identify like, oh. however I want to. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not real. I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, but they look dope. Like the gray pair is obviously just fucking outstanding, and, and the way that they did it at the fucking like yeah. the art show shit that they did. And, so, and but speaking of the art but, show thing, okay, so not the art show, but the uh, at the Brooklyn Museum. Or the museum, yeah. So they yeah. did the Brooklyn Museum, and they had that whole activation, and it looked fucking awesome. And though I was here on the West Coast, enjoying my cause fours. Uh, <laughs> humble brag. Humble brag. <laughs> I was jealous that I didn't like we didn't experience. get an event like that yeah, and they yeah. had that whole sick experience. But at that that night they had cause there sitting down doing like a little mm -hmm. uh, a Q and A session and he straight up got asked, Are there any more colorways coming? And he completely shut it down and said, Absolutely not. 
I hate that I like fall for shit like that. Right. I want to believe it. I'm like, nope, I got the only ones. That's it. 2,000 uh-huh. pairs. No restocks. No nothing. This is it. It's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and know Jordan Brandon going to That's why you like feel that. a certain way. Because I feel like I, more, I got... They're not recent more great I just, No, they're going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm, be I, I hope I get... I mean, I will get them if they come out, but unless they only... Unless it's friends and family, then I'm going to have to hit up Gmo and... Yeah, see, that's another thing. Could it be <laughs> like the way that they did, not Jordan Brand, but Nike did the uh, Masters of Air where they did a black pair for general public and, a white and then a white pair for friends and family. Yeah. You think it's going to be something like that, possibly? Yeah. Because that could be, I feel like if they were going to do that, it would have been around the time that the Grays, the Grays dropped. But I don't know, maybe they do like a thousand pairs of the black ones. And if you get them, you can get them. If not, like, they should be yeah. friends and family. Yeah. I definitely agree. I would have liked to have seen it flipped, like the black pair for the public and the, the gray pair for friends and family. Mm-hmm. I disagree. You disagree? Why? Because I want that. Because the black looks better to me, yeah. and the them being rare is cooler. Oh, okay, right, right. And the black does it looks better to me too. That's why I, I guess. It's, yeah, I don't know what it is. I think the gray ones are cool and all that, but I. Yeah. I would never wear them. I don't know what it is. Yeah. And you rock I don't fours know, too, though. Like, why the do you, black ones are definitely wearable. The Wait, black ones, in my yeah, opinion, all more wearable. Yeah, yeah, it's more subtle, and it, you get, you know. I throw I'm my like, cause laces get, in there, my original fake laces. Shout out to Colette. <laughs> Closing later this year. That sucks. Yeah. I don't know, man. I definitely like the black ones are dope. If they drop, I'm definitely getting them. Yeah, no in my them. mind, I definitely yeah, didn't same. think that. Shout out to the plug. The. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still so upset about that. <laughs> I don't think. Um, I, I didn't originally think that they were going to be so subtle. Like, because, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of his artwork is oh, super poppy super, yeah. and, like, the bright colors and a lot of that shit. I would have liked to have seen something, even if it was just, like, the the sock liner or Man, something. I saw a dope super. custom. Jack, can you try to find that? The the one the, where it's split? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he took the gray that. pair and then he split it. And so, like, the insides are all black and then those high contrast colors. Whoa. Oh, the pinks, you, you know what's the crazy, though, is I bet you in the kitchen there was a lot oh, yeah. of different shit that oh, they yeah. played with they definitely before they landed on around. that. No joke, right? Oh, my God. Could Just you imagine? Just imagine me, uh, straight ah, up so being a fly The shit on the that wall. got shredded. Uh-huh. <laughs> Damn, just, yeah, the sample bin Dude. just fucking Can we call stopped. Chad? Pop. He, was he involved? I don't think so. I think, I think he's gone. Mr. He was Little? gone from there. Shit, maybe he wasn't. That would be ill. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I haven't call, seen uh, Put in the word split. I think it'll help. <laughs> you think so? Well, I found it the other day. It was <laughs> it was a search. I'm sorry, Jack. Oh, okay. Yeah, There's I, like just, two images of it. I haven't seen those anywhere. We're getting close. Was it, was it a recent um, photo you saw? Uh, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna see them right when they happen. Yeah, I don't. I, if you're if you're listening to this right now, we're trying to find the the image that Daniel's speaking of. So yeah, it's pardon the dead air, because I don't think this is a real thing. I think he may have been smacked, <laughs> and <laughs> thought that he saw it in no. a, a Jack Google saw search. It. Jack, back me up. It. Jack saw go. it. Okay. Fuck it. We're moving on. <laughs> Fuck me, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I definitely think that if they come with the black ones and it's not a friends and family, because even the gray ones, like that one was still a limited, it was a limited run. Super. Like nobody really could get their hands on it unless you knew somebody or you quote unquote got lucky in a raffle. Mm, um, so, <laughs> so I do think that, you know, they could still do the same amount and it would be just as, you know, glorious in my opinion. But I know someone like, John, who actually has the gray pair and, and flexed his muscle to get them, um, would be a little bit distraught. Came up on two pairs. All right, you ain't got to flex that yeah. hard, ah. man. Like, we get it. Ah. You know people. You do things. <laughs> we understand, man. Man. I don't know. It's just um, I'm more partial to the black pair, period. period. And I think that even, like, think about this. If you had the black pair and then you took them to, like, a fucking – you know, ill customizer or whatever, or just did a DIY job, and you did the stitching where the co- the original fake gloves are with some fucking like ill like fucking neon Will you green it? and even just paint. I guess yeah, restitch or just paint like very precisely and do the colors that he usually uses. For How a are lot you of getting the out of control fake. now? Yeah, that, what? Yeah, dude, don't touch those things, dog. 
Come on. I don't bro. give a fuck. Bro. If you, if you manage to get your hands this on This is not them, a Yeezy. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Let me do me. Think yeah. about that, though. Because we saw, we were at um, Agenda this past like weekend. Henny Bottle? Yeah. Because yeah. oh, that yeah. was all bright. That's yeah, what I, that's you what said that, that's what I was thinking about. Exactly. Yeah. We were at Agenda this weekend, and we got a photo of a kid that was wearing a pair of NMDs, and he fucking repainted the midsole mm. and it had all the poppy original uh original fake i put it in one of the on agenda it. pieces yeah it, it was in one on of Instagram. our fucking like news pieces and that shit looked so hard like it caught both of our eyes from down the hall so think about that like i'm not saying color inside the shit but like just the stitching or whatever and somebody sees that they'd be like damn how did you get those at a one-on-one did you make what are those what are those <laughs> all that you know what i'm saying like Think outside the box, motherfucker. I'm trying to, I'm trying to fucking enlighten you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Whatever. Fuck y'all. Then we could talk about potential <laughs> cause fours for an entire episode. I mean, well, I'm, I'm thinking about all the I'm possibilities opposed. right now. I'm, I'm definitely into that. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think about like the uh, the collaboration as a whole? Because cause has done some pretty fucking like ill. Um, footwear collabs in the day, back in the day, mm-hmm. excuse me. Um, Surprisingly you think subtle is what I'd have to say. Yeah, yeah, you think it's a smart move for them to keep fucking with them? Because obviously, you know, I mentioned it in one of the news pieces, like that was one of the most hyped up Jordan releases in the past, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. few years. I mean, obviously the OVO shit and all that like <laughs> popped off too, but not as like far that. as like I the way like, like, like this, way bigger. Of, uh, right? Like people hitting the site, crashing the shit before seeing the stock numbers and different and kinds of that. people come out for something like this. Right. That's, that's the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you think the you're going to start doing more artist collaborations after the success of this one? Like, Fine art, like, like yeah. actual art, yeah. Because rappers get shoes and colorways and all that all the day. Yeah, all day. Are we gonna see a Retina Jordan? Oh man, uh, I don't even. I don't know, know that about that. Fucking you know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> where, where, like that. But no, like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like on some ill fucking street art or whatever. Like, well, what? Uh, I keep fucking up. Arsham, Daniel Arsham. Right? Yeah, he just uh, got his. There you go. Yeah, he got an Adidas, which is which sick with that? the UV light. Oh man, you remember? Did you see the when they were, everyone was getting the cell phones? And I was like, damn, I'm cool, but I'm not that cool. No, we made like 150 of these cell phones. I love the Daniel Arsham, you know the dude, you know who he is, right? He <laughs> does that, so. all the, um, the future relics, like that concrete art. Yeah. It's oh, like a broken yeah, up. Yeah, 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 this yeah. Is the Old school shit. So everybody was getting these cell phones. It was like, call Daniel Arsham. And it was like, you know, people like Woody and Geiger and shit uh-huh. like that. Like a lot of people had it. Like Vandal, yeah? Yeah, Vandal, yep. Oh, and shit. And then, then they got these shoes after the fact. So like a month and later. And the box is fucking... The box it has, the, has the peel the, away like, string. Yeah, yeah like oh, it's sealed. Like the you know fucking I mean? like the paranormals. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Damn, I didn't even know anything but about that. But when this. you uh, when you shine, it comes with a little black light, like a mm, little UV, UV light. light. And when you shine it on the uh, on the outsole, uh-huh. it says past and future. The past, oh, right there on the midsole. Though. Yeah, the oh, past shit. and future. See if they Fuck yeah. Super sick. Even the stitching in the fucking three stripes and mm, all that. No, it's dope. Yo, that's smart. See, I, that type this of is shit, like, man. Yeah, like, packaging crazy. crazy. Yeah, like, like the ill creative, creative, like under the net. So I'm assuming the other one says the future on the yeah. Image, so, dude, that see, that's the type of shit I'm talking about. And then you can't really see it, but there's obviously a number on the heel tab, one eight six yeah, six something weird. or uh-huh. eight five five, whatever it, it is. It look like weird characters. No, those are that's a phone number. Oh, that's is, the phone number. Is. Yeah, <laughs> it's the phone One number for five five. the phone to the, call him or whatever is that a, line damn. is. Damn, see, that's yeah. the type. I fucking love that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Adidas has been killed. Obviously, like, there's always gonna be that fucking age-old battle of Nike and Adidas and the creative and all that shit. But like, this is the type of shit that I feel is, you know, propelling Adidas further and further, and further mm-hmm. to the top. Because they take time and they do this shit. They do the consortium where they got the two fucking shops coming together, collabing on shit, like. This is the type of shit I like seeing. You know, the call stuff was cool. Like, it fucking created pandemonium, and it was, like, the somebody that they've worked with for a long time, but the story... I don't even know the if there's thing a story, is that, but the Is this going to get released? No, I, don't, I don't know. This is my first, Honestly, this is my first time hearing about it. No, I've just seen them on Instagram. i just seen them with the yeah. coolest motherfuckers that have them, and that's it. Uh-huh. So everybody so in the cool club... Them. Yeah. Everyone in the cool club uh-huh. has it, and that's it. Right now. Well, it's just part of it. Like, you're just... You're yeah, it's just, like, cool a few club. influencers and... And and heavy hitters uh-huh. got them. So this but was seven twenty. This is what? Yes, yesterday. Today? What's the date? Twentieth. 
release date. So they actually did. So yeah, release today, update July eighteenth. The day. Okay. The Daniel Arsham <laughs> X Adidas New York is up. I did see this on my yeah, fucking so, reserve yeah, app. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know what saying. the fuck was going on. Damn. You could have got him? And yeah. it said New York. Stop. It yeah, said New York, so yeah, I didn't yeah, even yeah. think twice about it. That's why I didn't either. I saw it come up on the... Fuck me, car. right? Oh, yeah. Damn. Yo, I swear, I saw it on my fucking iPad, damn. and I was like... Definitely fuck even, you. That's, that's fucked. <laughs> that's I didn't fucked. even think... <laughs> damn. Wow. Yeah, because those are oh, okay. and those so are those are seasons all that whole day, shit all, day. Is sick. Yeah, yeah. all fucking day. And they, yeah. the distress looks really good on you. Yeah. yeah. So it says um, those are sick for the summer too. After presenting a special pop up installation at Kiss Manhattan last month, Adidas Originals and New York based artist Daniel Arsham now unveil a collaborative sneaker. Arsham fittingly chose the Adidas New York to work with, create create oh wow creating a creative and. Can you stop? <laughs> I'm trying to read, but uh, <laughs> creating and creating <laughs> a creative and contemporary feel for the archival running shoe, partly inspired by Arsham's fascination with the concept of archaeology and 20th century cultural artifacts. The New York is presented in a deteriorated canvas upper with frayed edges and a completely tonal white colorway. That's fucking beautiful. Subtle and even hidden details are then added with dual branding on the top of the tongues with screen printed Daniel Arsham and past details on the underside and the model's classic Dellinger mesh midsole, treated with an ultraviolet ink print that reads the past is present when hit with UV lights. I didn't know that was called wow. Dellinger mesh midsole. I had no Learned idea that what today. that is. I always liked that look though. Dude, those are fucking beautiful. Yep. Oh man, I blew it so hard. Yep. <laughs> I'm so sad. I swear to God, I didn't even think twice. This is oh. real disappointment, folks. So there's the number, in case you guys were, where'd that go, Jack? <laughs> um, oh, I can't see it now. I think you minimized it, or did you exit out of it? Oh, there it is. So there's the number, folks, in case you want to call Mr. Arsham or figure. God Jack. damn, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> um, hashtag call Daniel 1 855 923 4327. I don't know what that number is. I, I highly doubt it's going to be personal it. line, but call yeah, call it. it. Put that shit yeah, on speakerphone. See what we can figure yeah. out. Hold up. Maybe this is a, a scavenger hunt to get to. You've get missed you out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very curious as to see what this what this goes to. Put it right in your mic. Yeah. I'm super happy right now. I, I seriously can't believe this all came together. I have got my own. Shoe. On the 22nd of July, the Daniel Arsham Adidas Originals New York shoe is released. The past is present. I'm super happy right now. I, I seriously can't believe it's all. This is so story. weird. I have got my own shoe. This is bizarre. Okay. What? What? Because it said something about the 22nd of July, so I didn't know if there was going to be like release details or something. I think it repeated itself right there. It just started repeating itself. Oh, it started itself. over? Yeah. Oh, my bad. I couldn't really hear it over <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I hung it up, yeah. Uh, what did he say about the 22nd, though? I don't know. You'll probably be able to find some information on it later. <laughs> 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 Call the fucking number later. You, you Call say, yourself, man. No one's going to answer. You don't have to get all anxious about it. Well, I mean, I'm just <laughs> trying to provide what if she actually answers? beautiful <laughs> content for, you know, our, our listeners. But, okay, whatever. Fuck me, right? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like fucking phone sex operator. It did, it, yeah, yeah, it, it, like, get a little creepy. it just starts with oh, super happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe I'm my own shoe. <laughs> I mean, you I know, feel you. You, you, gotta, like, yeah, you gotta fucking turn it on. You didn't right? like do that a couple different times and see which one you were gonna pick and send to Adidas. I think that may have been the one they went with. <laughs> Oh man, what I'm else just we fucking got? Hating Fuck. I'm jealous. I know. I'm mad that I fucking <laughs> skipped over the reserve. Like, I saw New York and just wrote it off. It's like, well, fuck, whatever. I don't How know how the shit is popping to, up on my. How could you have to pick it up if you did it? Because you you they, live in New York. They, yeah, so they give you like a week in advance. You reserve them, and then the yeah. day, yeah, and then they yep. tell you like if like if you do it in Jersey, you have to pick them up in like at least for the Yeezys. The way yeah, they do yeah. it, like they give you a zone. Yep. So you're in the zone. There's yeah. like New York, L.A., Chicago. Like, yeah. There's a bunch of zones they've added. Because I know so you don't fuck with boost like that. when you hit the button, like you have to be. You have to Even if you did it, Right. It so matter. basically what it is, is you get a week in advance, like you were saying, to 
basically put your size and your location yep. in. Then when they become available for reservation, it hits your, your phone or whatever, and then you have to tap a button to see if you can get in quick enough. And I think they've added some different features to it now to eliminate the bots and all that. The easy one, but, it was like, they had like nine boxes or something like that. Yeah. They gave you like hints and clues. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. you had to figure out which one exactly. to tap and all that. So, I mean, yeah, there's no guarantee that I would have even gotten a pair, but just the fact that I had the option and didn't even think twice about it kind of hurts my soul. But, you know, Damn. it is what it is, man. Cause that triple white is me all day, and then with the ill fucking, mm -hmm. I would definitely go to the club and then I'm like, yeah, the past. You're like, does present. it have a black light there? Cause we're not going to yeah, that. I'm one. only like, going. Y'all want to go laser tag? <laughs> 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 just, just go to lay the just to fucking show off my shoes. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, look at my shoes. Don't shoot me. Just, just yeah. look at my shoes. <laughs> uh, all right. So, speaking of footwear, I don't know why. I and, just lasers. Said and lasers. And uh, lasers. Yeah, no. This is just a Space. fucking terrible segue. Speaking of lasers. <laughs> um, what else we got? <laughs> Reebok partners with David Clark Company to produce. Oh, the fucking astronaut boots. Yeah. yeah. Yo, did you see? I know you saw them. I yeah. see them. Fucking wild. Dude, the It's just cool that Reebok got this gig. You know what I mean? Like, got yeah. to redesign the fucking space boot. First, can we talk about this guy right off? Yeah, go right, <laughs> the, right to the guy, dude. The fucking. Yes. The guy that they. Now, I don't Why know. Why does he look like he's not from Earth? Already. We are not the same. He is a Martian. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, oh, shit, Jack's computers. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Can't handle the bandwidth. Um, this. Oh. I'm going to take this moment while this is all fucking up, and uh, Just I want to give a shout-out to yeah. DJ Ski. Yeah, for having DJ us on, Ski, on Dash Ski, Radio, Ski, man. Ski, Thank Ski you very much for having us. You like how I just hit his drop right yeah. off the top? <laughs> yeah, bow, bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> no, most definitely thank you for having us on Hell Dash Radio. Yeah. This is a fucking pleasure, and yes. uh, don't forget, we will be in the same time slot every Friday at noon. New episodes every week, so make sure you check back and, uh, and you know, stay up to date, kick back with us and Indeed. all that. But back into it. All right, and we're back. And we're back. Um, no, I think it's dope that, it, like, I don't know, we probably ain't never even been to the moon. It's all fucking CGI and movies and shit, but. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You've been hitting them moon rocks. <laughs> um, no, nah, I think it's dope. Like you were saying, I think it's dope that fucking Reebok is like, you know, just blazing. Got the call the from flight. NASA. I don't know yeah. how that deal was created, but like, <laughs> that's uh, Reebok, dope. Yeah, this is NASA. Um, we we got this idea from the early '90s. <laughs> Can we see the shoe, Jack? Just to kind of look at some of the did it did it did 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 like in a, a movie. It looks like a movie like, thing. It, this, those are the, uh, it looks like the Ricardo Tishi, uh joints that they yeah. did. It does not, it does it not does. look like, yeah. It, does it doesn't not, not look like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Speaking of yes, going to the does. moon. <laughs> yes, it does. I'll be back soon. Um, oh, fucking Space Cadet over here. Yeah, they look fucking sweet, though. No, nah, for some fucking moon boots. Like, yeah. They're ill. Um, I just think, it, like you said, I think it is dope that Reebok was the ones that got to do it, you know? Yeah. You Jack, what really does it say in the description? Is there like a, I think they made some special foam for this. Oh, yeah, Like that would, that would just New technology. Be, better, be better in space. <laughs> we, we ground up moon rocks <laughs> and put them into the midsole for <laughs> a dense, lightweight feel. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pull up the, the thing so I can read it so that people listen. Space.com. Oh shit! For all your Reebok needs, <laughs> from uh, fucking CrossFit to the I moon, bet, listen, baby. Let me just let me just throw this out there right now. Every single footwear brand bid on this, oh, yeah. no question about right? it. Right? That's what I mean. Like how everyone you know bid that? for this. Yeah. Everyone. So how you think so Reebok? How you think they Reebok was un underbid him? What? Underbid him or something? I don't think underbid. Man. I think yeah, they probably proposal, I mean, they might have had the yeah. best shit. I mean, the proposal was probably better. Yeah. Hands down. Um, this is. You think when they get the moon boots, the fucking, the glue is coming off around the goddamn outsole oh, okay, like every other go. Nike I get? All right, so on <laughs> space.com, they've got an article up and a portion of it reads, rather than looking to traditional clunky moon boots for inspiration, Reebok and DCC, which I'm not sure of who that is, uh, modeled their new space boot after Reebok's float ride run athletic shoes, which contain ultralight foam that adds comfort without adding too much weight to the midsole. Um, 
in quotes, on the space boot, the rubber traction, the float foam, and the stabilizing foam that sits above the float foam, are, all right, I'm already lost, <laughs> are identical to the float ride run, so the feel underfoot will feel very similar. Hobson is yeah. Now, here's yeah. a song by Flo Rida. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my G, you couldn't have made that like way less complicated. DCC is David Clark Company. David, okay, that makes sense. Oh, it's at the top. Out. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Anything less from space.com? Man, I wouldn't expect no. Anything less would be uncivilized. Yeah. Right. It's all binary. <laughs> um, much like the Boeing Starliner spacesuits, the boots are designed to fit every individual astronaut like a glove. That's pretty sick. The inside uses a special mesh that stretches to a certain point then locks out when the suit inflates, which allows the boot to always fit comfortably. That's crazy. That's fucking sick. With their boots matching the spacesuits, uh, with their matching boots and spacesuits, astronauts will be riding in style on Boeing's future flights to the space station. Swag. But more importantly, <laughs> the new apparel will help make space flight more comfortable for astronauts than ever before. And go back to, huh. go back to our man wearing the whole suit. My, my G looks pretty comfortable. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely an update. <laughs> it definitely like, looks way more comfortable than the previous yeah. model. Yeah, yeah also real shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we see, have the we're talking about this. Does this look like good to go? You're going to go out in space in that fucking That's thing? That's scary. Yeah. That, that That's like, uh, not that it. This, inner shell. this guy but, yeah. can scratch his balls in that suit <laughs> if he wanted to. You ain't doing that in, the, in V1. But that to, ain't happening. To the article's <laughs> point, that, I mean, you might be right, man. This might just be the inner shell, but they did say it inflates. So yeah. that could be another part yeah. of it too. <laughs> this is the deflated version. This is the flaccid version of, of the, the fucking space, space suit. suit. <laughs> so this I is not. See him floating out there. <laughs> we need to lose faith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's dabbing dab as he's yeah, floating. He's dab 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 dab. Dab. I, I mean, oh, I'm, I'm with you, Daniel. I don't know if I trust that. Like maybe if I, I take know, one of them dude. like SpaceX flights where they just like mimic the zero gravity yeah. shit. That I'll wear that cool. shirt. But yeah, out there in real space, which I don't even, we don't even know I'm nothing about. Wearing this up here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, the, yeah, it, it's, I don't know. It looks pretty normal. Place. It looks like, it looks it like looks something normal. Yachty would wear. It looks on normal Earth. on Earth, yeah. right? On Earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about going out into the abyss. But he, it, it's so much sportier looking than it used to be. Super sporty, playing basketball on the moon. It doesn't have even a helmet. I'm trying to hit the well, yeah. like tune squad. Do the, do the Georgia <laughs> challenge. <laughs> he said it looks like an inflatable hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. It really yeah, do, though. Yeah. You know, like the, the zip-up hoodies, like, they zip all the way yeah, up. The like, the uh -huh. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it just looks, it's straight up. It looks like... Hi, it looks like fashion week. <laughs> okay, but on some real shit, and this is like off topic on the sneaker the situation, how do they use the bathroom in them joints? Like, are they wearing the pins, or is it? Probably no, you're not. Like, well, that's like, off you don't when they go live to the bathroom. It. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when they're back at the station. But that's when he like goes out and like fixes something. You're not going the, to the bathroom if you're out there. You're not, I mean, yeah. I guess you could if you had a diaper on. But. Think about taking a shit in space and just leaving it there. Oh, man. <laughs> well, you couldn't bare ass shit. Fucking in goals. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, you can't. You <laughs> yeah, fucking get frostbite on your booty, yeah. huh? Man. I'm pretty sure your whole body gets sucked at your asshole. <laughs> yeah. And that's, and that's that. <laughs> man, again, shout out to DJ awesome, Ski for having us. Yo. Think That's about you didn't know it was gonna be like this, player. <laughs> Think about the <laughs> ill stories your homies would tell back on Earth. Happening? Like, hey, you heard what happened to Steezus, right? This nigga went to the moon and tried to take a shit, and his whole body got <laughs> sucked through his asshole. <laughs> It's like, damn, dog. <laughs> My nigga went out like a G. <laughs> he said, I'm shitting on all you niggas. <laughs> he took the big shit. Man. <laughs> Oh, fuck. No, I'm sorry. I ain't never been to space. I don't know about none of that NASA shit. I don't know how. Like, I don't know about all this <laughs> NASA shit. I don't know how y'all supposed to um, do what you do. Like, because if you're, uh, and pardon me, like, I can be, I'm 100% okay. oblivious and ignorant to this shit. <laughs> When they're in, the <laughs> <laughs> Jack is zooming in on the, the astronaut's <laughs> dick. <right>? But then, <laughs> yo, that dude look like some shit. I would go out and shovel snow in yeah, back in case yeah. when I was a kid. <laughs> like, um, yeah. But when you floating, when this they're is floating actually, around, we're in just the joking space. around. This is popping up at uh, Kith Aspen <laughs> next year. <laughs> 
Hey, it does fucking fit the ill run yes, through it. time fucking uh, ultra boost shit. Uh huh. Um, no, when they flown through space, are they in suits or are they fully like capable of breathing without? It depends on breathe. what's happening. Look. Okay. Yeah, it depends on what stage of yeah, flight that's, you're that's in. That's yeah. a perfect I think answer. on the way yeah. up, you're in that. that okay, I had you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know what's going to happen. Because you don't know what the fuck is going to happen. Straight up. Then when you, you guys are like, up and shit. you're like, once you're in like chill mode and she's just like, you know, you're just coasting, uh -huh. you're there. You know, you yeah. feel like, yeah. you could like swim around in the air yeah. and the whole thing. Right. In the but if I'm in shit, space, that's me. The whole time. Twenty four seven. All day, yeah. <laughs> you just gonna I'm be in that you're bad, you're the gonna, whole time. Like, can we go home? Or like, <laughs> looks like Harrison Ford's awful. like You're just cousin. basking in your own filth. Like he actually looks yeah, kind of buzz old. Yeah, can you shower on, on space, buzz in Aldridge. space? What? You can't shower in space, can you? <laughs> yes, you have to you have to like <laughs> yeah, how do you gonna these catch things. the water? It's like wipe down. Yeah, you have to like wipe I've seen wipe strangers down. when she tried to swim right, when Jack, she tried you're to swim. Me out and now. I just give you like a bunch of wet wipes. <laughs> <laughs> wet wipes, yeah. okay, there yeah. we go. Damn, no, not sucks. sponsored, but if you would like to. Get your wet wipes. Take your Jason Mark wipes up there. Um, this is the kickback on Dash Radio, sponsored by Wet Wipes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Wet wipes sponsored NASA. I'm just this NASA wipes sponsored by Wet Wipes. I'm just uh, trying to get a sticker I'm, on the shuttle. <laughs> yeah, like, a, like a race car. Yeah. I'm just trying to get educated. You know, oh, this, we talking about space boots. I want to know what happens in space. Yeah. Damn, fam. Because I'm trying to like. Be clean. What if I'm running to? What if you in space and you fucking filthy and you run into some ill fucking like alien bitches? Like mm. speaking of alien, know. let's uh, Where this let's look at these. Oh yeah. Uh, what are we looking at since right now we're on Dash Radio? Right now on Dash Radio, fucking alien stompers. We're looking at the alien stompers. Oh shit! Yo, I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I wasn't even thinking what, about that. Shit? Just the alien, like yeah, yeah no. Nah, I was no, thinking no. about alien bitches. Fuck yeah, it. these are dope. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about alien bitches. I was fucking a green bitch. <laughs> hey, you never know. Yeah, right, they made that so okay. Fucking these right. people, if you want, nigga, that's more alien pussy for me. <laughs> <laughs> so Reebok. Did, what was this for? Dan, tell us about this. Oh, oh, it's for, for Alien. alien. For, yeah, I know it's for <laughs> Alien. For Alien <laughs> Day this year, they, they broke out a double pack. Now, There's is it like these. a 30-year anniversary or something crazy? I'm like not that. an Alien crazy f freak. Frankie, our uh, yeah, back resident here sound. Alien guy, what about it? Frankie, uh, is it like a 30th anniversary or something? Might or? have been released for Covenant. Yeah, they put out Covenant, Covenant. this year. Right, to, to go ahead with Covenant. Yeah. Okay, it. work. All right. Cool. Um, I do remember. So these didn't actually release on Alien Day, though, right? Like, no, they, no. They were announced. They announced it. Yeah. Because I remember doing a story on this uh, on April 26. Like yeah. Yeah, the black. Oh yeah, the black ones too. Yeah. Exactly. So the yellow one is made to look like that that mech that hey, Sigourney Jack, Weaver climbs into. Can you grab the black pair for us, please? It's basically like a uh, what do you oh, like yeah. a graduated forklift <laughs> that she gets into and that little the mech mech bot <laughs> thing she gets into and fights the alien. So it's all yellow with the black striping and all this shit. It's sick. It's kind of a really cool concept. Yes, yeah, so, and the packaging. Might as well just bring the box too, so we can talk about that. The f this is why it's important sometimes for you guys to tune into the visual. Not sometimes, um, always. So you guys can peep <laughs> out what we're looking at. No, nah, it was a dope collab, or it's not collab. Excuse me, concept that they use, and they like the shits. Um, Printed with Fox on the box and all that, like it was a straight. Oh yeah, the, like, the box, the package. Yeah, the, shit. the packaging, like one side was. Um, all right, this isn't awkward at all. Here you go. Here you go. Here we go. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. So that's the fucking the shell, and then yeah. this is the Frank, inner what's box. What's your camera? Main cam center. Main cam center. Right there. So what are they looking at? This good. What are they yeah, looking at, Daniel? Dan, don't tell him what you're showing to the camera, sir. Oh, this is the box. So you open <laughs> this bad boy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? You know it's a box? That's But middle. people yeah. listening don't know it's a box. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch I'm up in the box. camera with the box right now. It looks great. <laughs> yeah, this is sick. This it's is It's Ripley really and an alien getting oh. after it. Here. Okay. I got it. Great. Yeah. That's enough of that. Yeah. There's oh, so shit. many details oh, on this box. It's crazy. Get away from her, you bitch. <laughs> oh! I think that's printed <laughs> on the box too, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, on the inside. In uh, there it is. Damn. Get away from her, you bitch. Does this glow in the dark? Oh, uh, the black ones do. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Mm. Yeah, this is fire. Yeah, that's some ill, like. Great job, Reebok. I, I, mm, I thought, well, with the tag, I don't know. 
Um, it definitely Man, more like, Reebok Space shit. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the Reebok Space episode. This is the Reebok Space episode. Brought Holy to you, not shit. by Reebok. Damn. This is this was all, all an ac- accident. This was all accidental, <laughs> by the way. We were literally just talking about shit. No fucking, yeah. no setup at all. But yeah, yeah, this this is ill. Yeah, this shit glows, don't it? This looks Yeah, like it, it does. It definitely does. Oh, this, go- oh wait, hold on. It's got an ill fucking. There's a design in there? Design. Does the inside glow? So under the. What we're looking at right now is the underneath the clear outsole. There's I'm gonna charge it up in our light real quick so we can see exactly what it is. Ooh. There's a uh, what? Oh my god, my mic is just <laughs> fuck. sorry guys. Um, we're all sitting here like trying. To- <laughs> uh, we don't, you got a baby light. Like, we got this big ass shit right here. Let me see that, Frankie. Yeah, give it to him. Throw it over here. Right uh, now we're trying to charge up the boots. I'm charging up the <laughs> charge the boots. Charge, right charge the boots. Now. Charge up. Charging the boot. I know what time it is. We got 20 <laughs> minutes. No, we got 10. Shit, you're right. I was looking at the seconds. Uh, so I'd never worn a pair of these until I yesterday I, when I put these on. Oh, shit. Yeah, Sorry, I got guys. that boom. <laughs> big um, ass head. These are surprisingly comfortable. Um, I didn't think they would be comfortable with this like big ass alien, shit. Does the alien spit out some kind of like slime or shit? I'm, Frankie, you yeah. would know. I'm Acid not, is yeah. what they Acid. bleed, but I think this is and more like... Okay. This looks more like a, I don't know, like an asteroid see, shower do. kind of thing. Uh, it looks like saliva. Give it to Frankie. Like alien saliva. saliva. Let me Let me see see those look Frankie. like bubbles. Like blood. Or yeah. blood. blood. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, you gotta... Ooh, this that's is fucking ill. See, details. People storytelling. Right, details. for real. Reebok is like kind of slept on, I feel like. Because, you know, they do all the fucking CrossFit shit and all that. And like... It's still under Adidas, but the right storytelling, now, like... Kanye West Reeboks. is killing That's it making crazy. some Reeboks. Man, for real. <laughs> we got the fucking... Those power uh, phase. The alien Calabasas high. The <laughs> alien Calabasas high. <laughs> and you know I'm excited for that DMX coming out soon. <laughs> 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 what? Uh, no, nah, that's dope. I didn't even... Th- yeah. I didn't even know like the Damn. little elements that they added into that. And I just, like I said, going into the You said packaging. they're comfortable too, because this is a clunky fucking Dude, shoe. Dude, I'm that telling you, it doesn't look comfortable shoe. at all. They are really comfortable. I don't think these are like, they didn't make these two. For people really to wear yeah, yeah, Right, they were made yeah, for a movie. Because the yeah. pack, this is for ill but like, I wear my shit. alien fans and collectors of like memorabilia yeah. and shit yeah. like that. But the fact that they didn't skimp on the comfort and you know, the actual material, like this patent leather, the whole shoe is patent leather on the black pair. like. Mm-hmm. This is in fucking glow in the dark elements and adding into not just having a glow in the dark panel, but throwing in shit from the movie and all that. Like that's just it's fucking genius. And then also on the box there's uh, the script. There's right? parts of the script. Parts of the Excerpt script from the script. It's printed into the box. A lot of the design is like uh, part of a glossy yeah, black, to. matte black feel. Like there's a lot of shit, a lot of time and effort and energy that went into that. For yeah, sure. all sorts of badges from like the your mic. Mike. Mike, 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 your Mike, Mike. Mike. <laughs> um, no, yeah, just it, it's it's fucking it's just some G shit, which you don't expect from Reebok. Most don't expect from Reebok. Usually, you don't expect. <laughs> Usually. <it>. Usually. <laughs> <clears throat> no, but shout out to Reebok for fucking sending you know niggas to the moon in style. And, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and fucking <laughs> getting the aliens right. Yeah, making us that. humans feel a little bit more otherworldly. Maybe yeah. they know something we don't know. I'm super happy right now. I just got my first There's shoe. Actually, there, I re- there was it supposed to be some <laughs> announcement about fucking life on other planets. And that uh, never happened. No, nah, that never happened. There was Trumpito like ain't trying to put them shits out there. Trumpito. Trumpito. He got his own agenda. You know, know. that's for another episode. Well, our TV just shot some really, really dope sneaker porn, which is beautiful, detailed shots of these shoes. Today, I'm assuming that that will come out pretty soon, but if you follow us at Sneaker Inc., S-N-K-R-I-N-C, you will be able to uh, get a glimpse of that. When, Enjoy uh, the when details. We post it. Yeah, absolutely. Enjoy yeah, the if details, you're just listening sure. to this and you're wondering what the fuck we're talking about, definitely tune in uh, and check that out because it'll give you a full detail of each shoe and you know it's curated very, very beautifully. So make sure you do check out. He's going back in. Have to offer. <laughs> he might have found something. He's new. going. Yeah, we're looking for more details right now. There's this. It's crazy. 31. In the back of this, this tag. 31, 31 years. years from the release of the of the first movie to the date. Right That's to the why day. they released on the day yep. that they did. Yep. See that? There you go. 
Like yeah. even on the, t- the tongue tag, it has it on the box, but there's like a 20th century fox like on the box. It's on the, it's like yeah, it's super straight, legit like, collab. So that makes sense. They announced it on Alien and Day and released it on the anniversary of the show. It says sh- 2017 movie. fox like on the fucking tag. That's beautiful. Yeah. Sneaker porn coming out soon. Yes. Sneaker yeah. porn. And our resident alien aficionado went crazy. We should have cut in some shots of Sigourney Weaver. There's those couple of shots where she's in like the little white cotton little top there. <laughs> she kind of gets a little undressed. You see her in the little panties and shit. We should have cut that into the sneaker porn. Oh my god. And it's Jack, like the only time Sigourney and Weaver looked good. Jack is looking for it right yeah. now. <laughs> I think this yeah. is an ill way to fucking wrap this shit up, B. <laughs> Let's look at some. Yeah, we're gonna there we go. Jack's right there. Boom. Right now. Oh, Just the way shit. I remembered. Let's do a quick Jack. Just There's the my way girl. I look at that. Low mm. rise. Please buffer. Please buffer. Oh. oh. Right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I remember that when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> what year is that? 1970 something? Okay. 70. This is 86? Really? Seventy six is thirty the thirty one thirty one year. Eighty six. Yeah, shout yeah, out to Yeah, thirty one years. I'm like, what is this? The seventies? <laughs> Damn. Damn. I fucks with it. Son. You know she probably had the fucking ill curly bush under them drums. You know what? It's being hidden pretty well. <laughs> Back I'd in say. the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> she got that shit pressed so it would lay flat. <laughs> Man. Shout out to hair and makeup. <laughs> you can hear Jack giggling back there. <laughs> Yo, if y'all are still listening, we we appreciate you. We're fucking. This is episode one on Dash Radio, and obviously, this you know, this is just a kickback. It's just a bunch of homies sitting around a living room of colorful lighting and sneakers, talking about shit that we enjoy, shit that happened this past week, all focused around sneakers and footwear. Um, this is a weekly thing. So every Friday at noon here on Dash Radio, make sure you tune in. Um, and also throughout the week, these po- these episodes will be replayed. So make sure, you know, if you're checking out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you will hear from us. Uh, if you enjoy what we're doing, please make sure to follow us at Sneaker Inc. S-N-K-R-I-N-C on Instagram, Twitter, Sneaker Inc. on Facebook. Please drop us a like. Um, Anybody else, you know, you got anything you guys want to promote? I really enjoyed this, man. Yeah, this is I enjoy this every time we do it. Mike, you have a good time? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, yeah, appreciate you coming mm-hmm. through, yeah, man. Like, again, this is just, it is what it is. Mike man. busted All out long. the staple Pumas for, for today. He had yeah, one of them yet. Flex. Yeah, you're behind. I hate how this person that sits in the seat is always like, you don't shunned see with the shoes. Uh, Can't see yeah. I got those same ill stand socks, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, make sure you follow me at underscore Steezus Christ. S T E E Z U S C H R I S T, Dano, Late Night Color, Mr. John Colombo two two seven, Mike Cash one two three. Oh, oh shit, son! <laughs> I'm not gonna let you. I can never let you live that down. I don't think the one, one two three. One two. What is it? What was it? Um, sp- space balls. When they're, <laughs> <laughs> when they're like, they're like, what's the combination to the thing? They're like. One, two, two three, four, four. five. Like, that's the kind of combination the idiot has on his luggage. <laughs> well, shit, Man. This, nah, I guess we know what to name this fucking episode. This is the fucking space a episode. A bunch of space balls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. No, again, no, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Thank you for uh, listening if you're still here. You know, just talking shit. Mano, yeah, hit Mano us up, Dano too. was fucking hungover as shit. I think he's a little bit more lively now. He's coming back. He's coming I'm back here. to life. Feeling good, feeling great. Heavyweight. Heavyweight, <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, but hit us up, guys. Like, reach out to us. Hit us in the comments. Let us know some shit you'd like to hear us talk about. Or, Please do. Make you know, sure, More yeah. or less of something, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, all, all criticism, you know, is If you want to hear less about space shit, yeah, definitely let us know. Literally yeah. I mean, I doubt we'll be shit. talking about space shit no, in, on other shit. episodes. <laughs> in space. Yeah, literally yeah. shit. That's <laughs> fucked up, because now that's something that's on my bucket list that I don't think I'll ever be able to achieve. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm you trying to have go those to things, though. You gotta think about, You gotta, yeah, aim high. Think about checking out, like. The moon, John. The moon. Like, this is a make-a-wish shit. Like, what do you what do you want your final thing to be like before you clock out like that's not I it shit in space. i want to go to space <laughs> that's not it and i want my whole body to be ripped through my asshole <laughs> 
You got some deep rooted fucking yeah. problems. Sign out. Right Sign out right That's now. it. No. Sign out. That's how we're ending this shit. Yeah. I want to leave you with that. Just think about it. Just think about it. <laughs> yeah, check out my cash and shit too, man. I'm let you bodega. Fire that beats. Out. Yeah. Fire. 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 Emoji flames. Emoji. <laughs> Ooh. That was, that was kind of weak Jack explosion. Coming in hot. <laughs> we'll see y'all again next week. Hell we'll yeah. Back. Uh, peace out. Uh, Jack, can we get a, sound effects? That was a perfect. Can you just hour. take us out of all was, sound I effects? Was watching, I was watching. Keep going. For the last more night. sound effects. More fire. More fire. <laughs> <laughs> Booyaka. Booyaka. <laughs> <laughs>